ID. There's a not so old saying, dopes with cold feet die young. He's wearing his sister's socks. This one got lucky. Shots fired, but cops come immediately. Sometimes in Flint, they don't come for hours. Not since the city laid off a quarter of its police force. It's effectively created a war here, and it's a war zone. And, you know, not only are the citizens' lives at risk, but our lives are as well. Mayor Dave Bing is talking about huge cuts to the Detroit budget, and cops, he said, are not untouchable. Everything's on the table. But Detroit already has the fewest cops per citizen than any big city in America. So we went back to Flint to see what cutbacks mean. Sign says it all. Close weekends. Open the Flint. They've even closed the jail. They just don't have a room to hold them. There are just six cops patrolling the entire city of Flint. That translates into 80 homicides this past year, a 100% increase from the year before. Vehicle City is now America's murder city. And for cops here, job number one is simply staying alive. We know what to get into and what not to get into to stay safe. So we do go home in the morning to our families. It's, it's very frustrating for us. We realize we can't get to so many people. And, and you know, we, almost all of us, get into this job simply to help people. 434. Go ahead. Camden and Paddington. Yeah, we're on our way, buddy. Need to call it 1834, reference. Four shots fired. Suspect's vehicle is possibly a black Grand Am. I could buy three mil black. 434. You sure still ain't gonna say it was over an half an hour, an hour ago, either. 434. 434. Nobody else driven your car today? No, ma'am. Shots fired two hours ago. They got the wrong car, but the driver doesn't mind. She's from Flint, after all. I'm glad that the six cops that we do have are doing their job. My son was killed four years ago. We know who did it, and nobody still made an arrest yet. Too few cops, too many thugs. It doesn't take a mathematician. They call it Little Beirut. If they hear gunshots, a lot of them, they just ignore it. They don't call and say, well, we hear gunshots, because it's like, Normal, normal thing that goes on in the, in the neighborhood. Not a lot you can do with so few people. So few cops. Right, if we, 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 we do what we can. It's a cold Saturday night. The action, thankfully, is slow. No murder tonight, but plenty of gunfire. Man, I can't explain nothing. I don't know nothing. There you have it, he doesn't know nothing. So you're thugging in your sister's sock. And you know. What, what, what is this? We're trying to figure out, like, uh, why so many young men are ending up in the morgue. <laughs> Cut cops? Even these guys know there's a thin line between society and anarchy. The streets do need police on them, don't they? Yeah, that must definitely. You always gonna need police, though. You all automatically, you feel me? See that? I keep it, everybody with a conscience. Even, even the dude sitting in the jailhouse knows you got to have police. Reporting in Flint, Charlotte Duff, Fox 2 News.